Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Yuchi Hungary with 314 rating versus I Saw a Frog Kissing My Girl with 133 rating, so it's going to be another new format video, and we will see I Saw a Frog Kissing My Girl when the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, they'll go first, 42 versus 40, we got Fountain, Runic Tip, Inspector Border, Slumber Warlords, okay, so decides to main deck border in the deck. They have One for One, Flame Burge, Book of Eclipse, Bonfire, Droplet, so they're playing the Board Breakers. Uh, they're going to go ahead and start off by going Activate Bonfire, and then go search out for Snake Eye Ash, okay, Normal Summon Effect, go search out Poplar, and then Summon Out Poplar, Poplar Effect goes Search, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, we have no hand traps, grabs out the original there, sure, Snake Eye Ash, send, bring out Oak. And then Oak Poplar, Spell Trap Zone, Summon back out, and then we can Oak, Send, Summons out Flame Burge from hand. Okay, so this is just Fire King. Yeah. Flame Burge on the Poplar, Original sends it now. What? Wait, why don't we make Appalooza? Okay. So Ponix in the Sanctuary, Sanctuary in the Island. Yeah. Then we make a Doolittle Chimera. Uh, I feel like that was bad. We definitely should have made, like, Sunlight Wolf, Flame Burge Effect, Special Summon back out from the Graveyard. And then, I mean, the opponent's forced to rock there, otherwise we make Apo. We don't even have to make Apo, we could just force Apo and be like, do you want to rock? Nope. Okay, cool. And then keep playing. Uh, grab out Garunix, new chain link, do a little Garunix, so Special Summon out, grab back Ponix. Now we have Garunix Effect, we'll destroy Arvato, Arvato, Ponix. So special out from hand, special back out, do little from the graveyard, that's fine. And now link off, go open the princess, princess effect, summon out the Arvata, sure. And then go up into a whale. Now flame bridge effect, summon back out two from the graveyard, that's fine, that's fine. Now link off, go up into IP, and then set eclipse droplet, and pass. Alright, uh, so they draw freezing. I mean this is still solid. This is still solid. Warlords is a very, very, very good card. Uh, so normal summon out Inspector Border. And then Battle Phase. If they activate IP effect here, then they can't activate SP because, you know, they only have, like, Link. So they would need more. Uh, but they do have Droplet or Book of Eclipse that they could use. So uh, we're going to go Battle. They're going to go IP, make SP. Oh, uh, that doesn't work. Yeah. Well, they messed up really bad there. They had Droplet or Book of Eclipse to beat this, and they decided, nope, I do not want to do either. Uh, so now they're going to Droplet it and damage, which is completely fine. Uh, activate uh, Fountain, and then activate Runic Tip. So go ahead, grab out Runic Destruction, make them banish Book of Eclipse, Destruction, Pop Island, make them banish 4. And then activate Island Effect. Pop the field, fountain effect, put back, draw two. So we draw freezing, flashing. Uh, then they can go ahead, like, activate multiple effects there. So new chain link, runix, whale, arvata. So summon out Doolittle Chimera, summon out SP from the graveyard, summon out Garunix, Garunix effect to go destroy. They chain freezing onto that. They chain SP onto itself plus Garunix. And then we flashing fire onto the SP. I was going to say they could chain Book of Eclipse to make it to where this will dodge the freezing. Uh, but they're going to go ahead, banish there, okay. And we can see they're just not playing any hand traps, uh, which is fine in this matchup for sure. Uh, now we're going to go Whale Effect since SP was destroyed to go ahead and pop. So pop Fountain, now Slumber, bring out Jerry, Jerry Effect, add back Fountain, activate Fountain, set Freezing, set Warlords. And then we just try to pass there. Yeah, it's like if we make Sky Crisis, then they just princess. Uh, and if we princess before, then they make Sky Crisis after. Um, so now they're going to go do little effect, grab back Flame Burge. Which honestly, probably should have done that, right? Probably should have princess pop do little Jerry. This stays on field, can't be sure by card effects. Do little add back. They summon Sky Crisis, then we just book of Eclipse. Yeah, that sounds better, right? Because then we get Princess on field, more pushes for next turn. Uh, but now we're going to go main phase. They just let it go. They don't try to flip Warlords or anything yet. And then they're going to start with Discard Flame Burge, Summon Black Witch. Flame Burge 1, Black Witch 2, Chain Warlords. And then they Chain Book of Eclipse to go ahead and set the field. So that way, you know, this will resolve still. Set Wanted. 
summon back out the oak and snake eye ash now oak snake eye ash effect sure so uh, they're gonna go search out snake eye ash and then summon out the poplar poplar to go grab out oh divine temple got banished never mind i was gonna say do that just to try to gain attack uh won't be enough though anyways said what's his defense a thousand so they're gonna go original said resolve poplar i have no target yep so go ahead, search Snake Eye Ash, put back Flame Burge, okay. Uh, end phase, flip, draw one off Eclipse, freezing onto Oak, make him banish three and then draw a fountain. Yeah, they scoop. Uh, so now onto the next game, we will see. I saw a frog kissing my girl go first. We have a Mono Iwano, Synchro Zone, Card Demise, Fountain Tip, Solid Hand. They have Anti Spell, Droplet, Black Witch, Ash, and Ponix. Oh, draws Anti Spell, nice. Even more of a Solid Hand on that side. We have Combo. Plus FTK, shout out to Konami for putting this card down the one instead of banning it. Uh, then Ponix, go ahead, grab out Island so they don't play Sanctuary. Okay, discard Ash, bring out Black Witch. Well, I mean, we know that they play Sanctuary, and it's not like you're going to side it out. Interesting they didn't grab it then. Uh, Sen, bring out Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash. I guess bluffing that the Droplet in hand is going to be Sanctuary. Um, but now Poplar, summon out. And then pop lore effect go ahead search out divine temple sure now go up into a doolittle chimera pop lore spell trap zone island effect destroy doolittle summon out garunix new chain link you know doolittle garunix and then garunix dump kieran then they're gonna go kieran the summon out from hand okay so we don't go for a Vata and to do a little or anything like that. Sure. Send, bring out Flame Burge, make Sunlight Wolf. Bring out from Graveyard, Sunlight Wolf. Grab back Ash Blossom. That's fine. I feel like this was played weird. I feel like I, I don't like how this was played. Princess summon back out. Uh, but it should be fine though, because anti spell is just crazy. Make Whale, set set, pass. They draw Smitting Storm. Then we're going to flip Anti-Spell, Chain Runic Tip to go search. They said okay. Chain Storm the Special Summon out Jerry. Then go search out Destruction. Make him banish the Sararvis. Okay, now go Main Phase, Normal Summon out Imano Iwano. Uh, link off into SP. SP effect onto Anti-Spell. Chain Droplet to shut that down. Poplar effect, Spell Trap Zone. And then we just go ahead, set the whole hand. And then pass. Yeah, we can't make... Sky Crisis, because once again, they have Princess in Graveyard. That comes up pretty much every time you play against Fire. Uh, they draw another Ash Blossom there. So now go Main Phase. Uh, they're going to go Activate Original, Banish. Uh, go ahead, grab Oak, and then put back Poplar. Normal Oak, Oak Effects, Summon Out Snake Eye Ash. Yeah, we really needed... Uh Actually, I don't even know what we'd need here exactly. Even, like, Warlords wouldn't be enough. Actually, Warlords plus a Runic spell would be pretty good. Uh, but we do have Synchro Zone right now. We can't Destruction or anything because we're still under the Anti-Spell Lock. So, Snake Eye Ash, Poplar, Summon Out Poplar, okay. That's fine. And then, from here, we're going to go Poplar, Snake Eye Ash, make Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Phoenix Effect, Discard, Pop Synchro Zone, draw Bonfire... Alright, uh, so just trying to leave SP there as a way to keep us alive. Uh, now they're going to go World Sea Effect, and we just let that go. We don't try to chain that there, uh, but now the opponent will be able to activate Princess. I guess we just chain SP on both the targets. So Princess on Nightmare Phoenix plus SP. Oh yeah, targets Nightmare Phoenix. That's horrible for them, because now they don't even have the, the co-link stuff that's set up already. Oaks on itself plus Flame Burge, bring out Snake Eye Ash, Flame Burge effect, summon back out two from the graveyard. Okay. And then go ahead, link off into Hida. And then Poplar, spell Trap Zone, Flame Burge, link off up into Selene, Selene effect, gain counters, lose counters, summon Black Witch. Uh, then we're just going to go up into access code. Okay, doesn't even use that. Yeah, just access code effect, gain attack, and then that's it. So. On to game number three now. We will go ahead and see Yuchi Hungary go first. We have Runic Slumber, Runic Destruction, Slumber, Time Tearing, Desires. They have Snake Eye Ash, Cosmic, Droplet, Bonfire, and Wanted. So they're going to go Activate Destruction. 
Special summon out Hugin. Hugin effect, discard slumber that goes through, goes for Chow Fountain. And then main phase, activate Fountain, activate slumber, make some banish a cosmic, droplet, and an ash blossom in there. And then fountain go put back to draw three. Yeah, if we can set up here, the game's over. Ooh, we do not draw a floodgate. Okay. Well, I guess one floodgate wouldn't be enough anyways. I was gonna say once you have time if you have time tearing and you set up. You win the game for sure. Honestly, you don't even need time tearing. If you have runic spells and you have floodgates set up, you win the game. Uh, but time tearing makes it so much easier. And then, okay. Uh, sure. The draws are a little bit weird. Activate time tearing, set flashing, freezing pass, just so we don't auto lose to cosmic on fountain. And then main phase, normal summon snake eye ash effect. We flip a set freezing onto it. Oh my gosh, we hit Island Flame Burge, so now Snake Eye Engine's so much weaker and Fire King Engine's so much weaker. That was actually a broken Banish 3. Uh, that's what they needed there. Bonfire, go search out Poplar. Then Poplar Effect, summon itself out. That's fine. Poplar Effect to go search. Also, it's interesting that they even have Judgment in their deck. Um, I mean, it's fine going second against this deck, but it's interesting that's, that it's even on their deck list to begin with. Uh, but now activate wanted, uh, wanted, go ahead, search out Diabella Star, the Black Witch, activate Divine Temple, go spell Trap Zone, Snake Eye, Ash, okay. And then from here, Sun Snake Eye, Ash, bring out Black Witch, Black Witch effect, go set the original Sinful Spoils, that's fine. Uh, they said thinking, link off to make Hita, sure, Poplar spell Trap Zone, that's fine. Then original, send Poplar, go bring out Oak. Then we have Oak effect special summon back out, Snake Eye, Ash. Now link those off to make Selene. Selene effect, gain counters, lose counters, summon back out Black Witch. Wanted, banish, go put back original. Draw into a Kirin. That's fine. Uh, now link off, make access code. And then uh, we're going to flash and fire. You know, on res of that, make him go ahead and banish two. Fountain to go draw, chain cosmic. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you know, I mean, they went through the one flame birch, so they can't go through that at all. They can't get tons of bodies. The fire king stuff's so much weaker. So, even though the runic player wasn't able to really set up there, uh, and they got hit with cosmic on fountain, they still just live through it. Uh, so, beat over Hugin goes back, attack directly. Main phase two, make Doolittle. And then set droplet, judgment, so do little we can pop with Kieran, and then do little will get us back in the engine. Like Snake Eye Engine, they draw card scanner and duality. Activate card scanner, call spell, so they get original to hand, uh, which we knew was at the bottom of their deck. And then we get slumber to hand, which we knew was at the bottom of our deck. Golden droplet, bring out Mudden. Yep, uh, brings out Mudden to play around a cosmic cyclone. Uh, said sec what happened I labbed out lagged out said special Hugin you mean Munnin said yeah Munnin case and Munnin is on my screen reading yep yep it is indeed Munnin uh, activate fountain said what did you discard didn't use the effect yeah okay activate fountain and then they have judgment to go ahead and out that so now both fountains are like you know one's banished one's in graveyard we can eventually get back to it set slumber freezing then end of main, so it's still in main. We're gonna activate Kieran. Okay, they don't wanna activate Kieran there. I guess they can just wait till their turn, that's fine. Skip battle, end phase, gain a thousand, pass. They draw Saravus. So now main phase, they're gonna go, uh, I guess they don't have to activate Kieran. They do have original Sun Divine Temple. Yeah, getting rid of Divine Temple kinda hurts though. Makes all the bodies weaker. So bring out Snake Eye Ash, effect, go search out Poplar, Poplar effect, special out, okay, uh, Poplar, go search out Subversion, nice, nice, so what do they do from here, we're gonna Subversion on Munnin, chain to negate it, just that way it doesn't go into the spell and trap zone, uh, link off up into Princess now, and then uh, Poplar effect spell trap zone, probably shouldn't have started with Subversion on that. I don't know. Does it, I don't really see the point of starting with that. Activate freezing, and then they're gonna Sir Arvis to stop it. Sure. Princess summon out Oak. 
Oak summon back out. Snake Eye Ash. That's fine. Then... Battle. It's just not game, though. It's just not game, though. I guess we were never gaming through the runic spell anyways right there. But go ahead. Poke, 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 poke. That's fine. And then... Main Phase 2. Link off. Also... I think I have a hair. Yeah, there was a hair in my mouth. Okay, go ahead. Summon out whale. That's good. Uh, make a IP underneath of it. They have not gone in the SP yet. Uh, activate slumber at end phase. Summon out Jerry. Jerry effect to grab back fountain. Then they drop with to stop that. Draw tip and dispelling. Okay, so activate duality. Look at the top three. So obviously we can't just tip in the fountain. It won't work. Uh, grab skill drain, then go put back because there's no fountain and duck. Uh, now we will go uh, card scanner, call spell. We get a duality to hand. They get a Sarvis to the top of their deck. Activate tip, go grab out slumber, make them banish the Sarvis at the top of their deck. Set skill drain, dispelling, duality, end of main phase. And then they said thinking. Uh, they're going to go Kieran effect, destroy whale. Whale effect, special summon back out from the graveyard, and then, okay, they said think, uh, chain IP, okay, so that means we're summoning out princess from the graveyard here, uh, we want to summon SP before we get fire locked, yep, SP effect, go banish, uh, banish a pot of duality, set runic slumber, and then pass, they draw wanted, so now, set think here and draw phase, flip skill drain, chain SP onto itself plus Jerry, Activates Wanted, which was a really good draw. Grab out Black Witch. Now we have Wanted draw set up. Uh, they were thinking, but they can't dispel and rip from hand because it was during draw phase. Yeah. And now we have Wanted draw. Banish. Put back the Subversion. Draw into Harpies. Activate Harpies. Chain Slumber on the Princess. Chain Dispelling. So summon out Jerry. Make them banish three so that way they can't attack this turn. New chain link. Uh, we get Jerry and card scanners. So put back Black Witch and add back Fountain. Yep, that's fine. Uh, go ahead, out that. So bottom deck, Y. Yep, card scanner does have an extra effect. Uh, Princess, go ahead, bring out Poplar. Poplar effect. Go ahead, set Subver or add Subversion. Activate spell Trap Zone. Can't attack with Princess. They said GG's. Ha! Said it just a little bit too fast because you are a little bit off there, buddy. A little bit off there. A little bit off. Um, okay, so... Attack. Drop them down to 700. Uh, then they're going to go ahead, bring back out. I mean, they just misplayed, right? Because they could have just brought out Oak into that. But that is... Yeah, that's bad. Okay, pass. Draw border. Destruction. Activate fountain. And then activate destruction, go special out Hugin, and now activate fountain to put back, and then draw. So I was going to put back three, and then draw three. I was going to say, we have tons of runic spells in our graveyard, so it's going to be draw three like every time. Draw border, judgment, destruction. Uh, we're going to go set judgment, set border, set border, because time tearing. And then set the destruction, pass, they draw Kieran. So princess, summon back out from the graveyard, bring out oak, oak effect. Summon back out Snake Eye Ash. Sure, Snake Eye Ash effect. Go search out for the Ponix. That's fun. Uh, we're fine with them searching Ponix. That's just, you know, one card quicker to a deck out here. Uh, make Raging Phoenix. And then... Uh, they're thinking on this if they want to stop it or not. It is a big body. Yeah, okay, they do go ahead, judgment that, pay 50 life points and one card. Poplar spell, trap zone, snake eye, ash. Okay. And then now battle phase, attack over Hugin, which frees up the extra monster zone, uh, which means we can like activate a runic, the special summon if we need to here to draw three. And then oak attack border. Yup, SP attack border. Yup. Uh, now, main phase 2, link off, make Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Phoenix effect, try to pop Fountain, chain destruction, bring out Hugin, banish to protect, and then Fountain to go ahead, put back, and draw 3. 
So, yeah, that, that should just be game. Draw Synchro Zone, Warlords, Card Demise, draw two for turn, draw Skill Drain, Slumber. I was about to say, those draws actually just weren't that good. Uh, Slumber is good there, though. Uh, and then having, like, Synchro Zone, Warlords, that, yeah, that, that that's just going to uh, make that game over right there. I'm not going to lie. Slumber, uh, make them go ahead, banish three, and then Fountain Draw. And, yep, they just go ahead and admit defeat because they know how this game is going. Uh, it is not going well for them. Uh, and they also have, like, this back there, so, like, Destructions are live, too, if they're drawn. Uh, but we will see that the match was about 52 minutes. Wait, I guess in response to Slumber, they could chain SP. Wait, no. Yeah, they activated Targeting, right? Activated, targeted Jerry. So, I mean, they could chain SP to Banish, but... They're still gonna get Fountain Draw. So, I mean, technically, if they wanted to stay in it a little bit, they could... But I feel like that game was like, it was like almost decided when Island Flame Bridge got banished at the beginning. But this player did mess up. Um, you know, something that you really want in this matchup, put Whale in Graveyard, Whale's huge. Having the pop off that. This deck has a lot of pops, right? Kieran pop, access code, Whale, they had Cosmic, uh, you know, Harpies, they had that. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix, SP, tons of ways to out cards. Uh, yeah, they did end up messing up a little bit there. They did forget about Runic Slumber making it that way. Princess could not attack. They got greedy and misplayed. Yep, and because of that, Yuchi Hungry was able to win this 52-minute long match. Uh, it's also funny because IRL, the Runic stun deck there, would have had to play differently because they were down in life points. Uh, but okay, so that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.